Viewer discretion is advised. All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And in this lesson, uh, as always, Lord will, Lord willing, you know, this lesson will be edifying, all right, to those of the whole four elect, as always. And um, I hope that this lesson will be sharp. I hope it's powerful. I hope it is a discern of the thoughts, all right? And, um, you know, judge the matter so that you don't walk down those footsteps. All right. And this is a lesson, you know, based on, you know, wicked as women. All right. Now, from time to time, we go into this because the women of our nation are prideful. The women of our nation, they serve authority. You know, they air not knowing the scriptures. They uh, chatter mouth. They speak too much. They talk about things they don't understand. You know, they're forward. They have a forward mouth, you know, and um. They believe that things got to go their way, you know. But uh, for you women that are out there, quiet, waiting patiently for the Lord to send you your covert, which is a man of the Lord. You in good standing. You have faith. You you you, you praying, you know, you, you holding the commandments down to the best of your ability. You striving. Keep doing what you're doing and may the Lord have mercy on you and bless you in that day. All right. To receive what? That salvation. Because at the end of the day, this is for our salvation. You know, but um, you wicked ass women may the most high judge you. All right. In the harshest manner to the point where. You know, he makes you a public example. All right. When he chopped your body in half right before your children's eyes. All right. And do the worst to you because of your wickedness. And because of your pridefulness and rebelliousness, may the Most High destroy you. These women are out of control. And, and uh, I'm going to say this too. You brothers out there that believe in this truth, stay away from women that have a man of the Lord. Man, stay away from a woman that have a man. Man, if I find out, let me stop. Excuse me. I'm a little passionate right now and I'm a little ticked off. But um, Lord willing, this lesson to be edifying, man. Men of the Lord. If you talking. Or giving advice or sitting at all with any man's woman. You committed you are committing adultery. And the Most High going to kill you, man. You know, that's the spirit. Elder Apostle Raka, he put out the show, you know, put it out there and touched on that. Heavy, you know. And now, you know, and I saw the video about a couple of days ago, a week ago or something. And now, in a situation where, you know, a spirit roaming around me, in a situation, I got to put this back out in the air you men if you meddling with another brother's woman and teaching and giving so-called advice you are committing adultery man and the most high is gonna kill you man and for you wicked ass women all right that can't follow order that, that can't set a foot down for delicateness and you claim to be in the truth, the most high going to kill your ass. Straight up. You know, you drinking liquor, speaking, speaking with a forward tongue, talking shit, the most high going to kill your ass. All right. I'm going to read the scriptures now. You know, I don't want to make this a rent. But I hope this vibration get out there, man. You know, if, if, you know, if I find out, man. And the Lord, 
I'm 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 putting it in a video and I'm gonna expose you men that's committing adultery, man. All right. This shit is this shit is crazy, man. You know? So I just want to put that out there, man. You know? You do not sit at all with another man's wife. You don't give her advice. You don't teach her nothing. You shouldn't even be looking at her. You know, these wicked ass women, they're wicked, all right? And the most wicked ones is the ones that so-called belief. Reaching out on the YouTube, want to talk to different brothers, get in certain communities on Facebook, being in an Instagram party, want to be a part of the truth movement, in which they call it. You, this guy, he here it is. He know your status. Say you have a husband, you married, but he want to befriend you. You start talking to him, thinking he a bro, and you a sis. Then all of a sudden, it leads into a DM. Now you're trading numbers and he's just saying he's just a brother. You fucking niggas gonna kill you, man. I'm gonna kill you niggas, man. I'm gonna kill you niggas, man. And you wicked ass bitches, man. The Lord gonna kill y'all niggas, man. So lock my him. This is Micah. Chapter 7, verse 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a God. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. So what's that telling you, brothers? You don't have to, with your woman, you don't have to tell her everything. All right? Not everything, you know, a woman, she needs to know. When it comes to you as a man ruling over your household. Some things women can't handle. And a woman can't tell you how to te how how to talk to her. If she can't she don't go according to your way, kick that bitch out. All right? We don't pussyfoot to no women, man. If you women don't fall in line and listen and be in order, then you could get the stepping. Trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in the God, keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. So you don't have to tell your woman everything, man. All right. Women can't handle the truth. Here it is. You know, you got some righteous women out there, some women that considered righteous. All right. They holding it down, staying in order, being quiet. All right. Being submissive and being a servant as they supposed to be. OK. But then you got these women that that they want to they want to be in the truth. But here it is. You can't even handle small truth. Women wants to be lied to. Overall, a woman want to be lied to. If you told her the truth, she can't handle it. She gets upset. She start going into her mood swings. But that's the difference between a. A wicked woman and a, and a, and a so-called, let me say, a decent woman as far as being in the truth, man. All right. It says, for the son dishonoreth the father, the mother riseth up against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own household. So you got to watch your own household, man, because your enemies are those that are of your household. They're the closest ones to you. They know everything about you, man. Like your woman. You be with her for a minute, sharing some, some time with her. You know, you've been with her for a few years. Talk this, you say that, you tell a little bit uh, of the ugly, tell a little bit of the good. She thinks she know you, man. All right? She knows you to a bit. And every time there's a breakup, she got a whole mouth full of evil shit or wicked shit that you did. When in all reality, you ain't do nothing wrong. Breakups are not cute. Break breakups are ugly. And it's always according to her, her her narration that you were wrong. When you women need to shut the fuck up and listen, because you are deprived of understanding. If you listen, you will may may the Lord may grant you the understanding of a situation of or how things are playing out. 
if you keep your mouth closed and just follow order, man. But it says a man's enemies are the men of his own household, man. So you got to be careful with men. You should never bring your woman around no other men. Let me say this again, man. I'm going to say it again. You women out there, all right, if you got a man and you having casual conversation with other men, you are committing adultery. I don't care if he's a co-worker at the job. Why, why is his number in your phone? Oh, we just cool. We just talking. He a co-worker. Bitch, you an adulterer. And you men got to look at your woman like she's an adulterer, man. That shit is off. Jumping from man to man. Got this one woman. Not me. <laughs> just saying. This is, I, I know I know, I know a couple of things, man. You know, but neither the head on there. Anyway, man. All right. But you got women out here that jumping from man to man and uh, can't sit still. All right. Want to be on every platform and, and want to know this group, want to know that group. And then these men are so stupid that they telling this woman, all right, everything about them. She learned of them. And then she turn around and say they all wicked. Now she know all your business. You men, are, men of the Lord was really us brothers, a great millstone. That's who we worried about, man. Our brothers, man, my brothers. All right. Those that do the will of the father, man, uh, being being uh, instant in season, man. All right. And out of season. OK, us men of the hopeful elect. We, you have to be stronger, man, and stern, you know, when it comes to these women. In all reality, you don't need no woman. Woman is just to help. Our woman going to come in the kingdom. Our woman going to come fulfilling prophecy of Isaiah 4 and 1. When these women say, let thy name, uh, take away thy reproach. Let us be called after thy name. That's when they going to truly get right. That's when the Lord is going to take away that spirit of enmity between the woman and the man. The husband and the wife. All right. When the curses get lifted off us. Other than that, we're just rehearsing with these women. And if she believes, cool. She becomes a new creature. She don't look back. Hey, cool. All right. That's what's up. Now, strive all the way to the end. But technically, we're all adulterous. All right. You, if your woman ain't a woman and, you know, you laid down with and took her cherry, popped her cherry, then guess what? You committed adultery, brother. But as long as you... Look, she's not dealing with no other man. You're dealing with her in the name of Yahweh, Bashem Shah, She believed whatever case may be. Y'all together. They made the Lord, you know, have mercy, man. All right. But we as men, we got to be stern, man. Ain't with all that pussy shit. Don't chase these, these little whores out here. And most of these whores is the ones that claim Kwame Asha'ala, man. Rise Israel, man. You know. Seeing these pictures, you got women uh, claim to be in the truth. But then they got their cleavage showing. You got their curves showing. Then they talking to every dude, man. What type of shit is that? Excuse me. This is Micah chapter 7 and 7. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the power of my salvation. My God will hear me. That's right. Yahweh will hear me, man. He hear me now, man. You know, and women in the truth, they are, man, yo, turn around and say, yeah, with most I going to get you, bitch, most I going to get your ass. Do you not realize that the man was written in the scriptures, man, have power to block women prayers, man? What the fuck are you talking about? Who the fuck is you? Them the worst ones, man. It says, therefore, I will look unto the Lord, Yahweh. I will wait for the I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power, Yahweh, will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. So, yeah, we're men of the Lord. And yeah, we get beat down. Yeah, we suffer shame. All right. Because we take the low route. It ain't about being tough and bad, but we men of the Lord, man. You know, we, 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 we're supposed to be humiliated, man. We're brought low. You know, these women think they got something on you. 
You know, they serve authority over you, man. You know, they, they look at you because you ain't saying nothing back, knowing that you holding back from snapping her fucking neck. You holding back from snapping her neck, but she don't see it like that. She look at you as a bitch, a punk bitch, because you holding back. In all reality, she want to draw that lion out of you so your ass can go to jail. It's because all she is is Satan. Satan, man. Trying to drive you so that you can lose your cool and you go off and now you ain't sitting in the fucking cell somewhere. Got a charge, man. This is the stuff we got to fight. Ephesians 6 and uh, 10, man. We fight against uh, spirits and principalities, man. It ain't of that, uh, that her flesh. It ain't of her. It's of the spirit that's on that bitch. That shameless dog. And if you don't like this video, then click out of here then, man. Because I gave you the, uh, the balance in the very beginning of the video, man. Okay? You know? And if you went to Christianity, then I know you're going to get out of here. Because you ain't going to like the rude words. Not curse words. They're rude words. All right? The word curse means to uh, 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 bring misfortune on someone or something. You know, you pray uh, for misfortune on someone. Okay? Paul used rude words, but yet not in knowledge, man. You know? For all the uh, uh, emotional uh, niggas, you know? They got a problem. The prophets of the Lord cursed in their day. Back in the ancient world, they used rude words, calling people snakes and vipers. Man, our Lord and Savior himself, Yahweh Shai, called them snakes and vipers, man. You know, scriptures tell you if she's a shameless dog, that means what? She's a bitch. And that's real, man. You know, in the scriptures in the ancient times, if a, if a, if a daughter dishon dishonored her father, her father spit in her face. But women and, and a lot of these men out here in these different camps, they don't know order. They don't know that life, you know, because they're not really in the truth. So this is Micah chapter seven and seven. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord, Yahweh. I will wait for the I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power, Yahweh, will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise because we're going to arise, brothers. You know, the most high is going to make us more more than fine gold, man. OK. We're going we're gonna to be the, the rubies, the, the riches of the world, the elect, the men, okay? It says, when I sit in darkness, which we're sitting in darkness now, the Lord Yahweh shall be a light unto me. And he is our light if we stay in order, fight the great affliction that comes upon us, man. You know, and who it comes from to come, to, to come, to come at you. You know, Satan's on everybody, all right? That's where I see it, sitting on all, all these people, man. All right, except for my brothers and men of the Lord, man. And even sometimes Satan could jump on them, could jump on your brothers, can jump on you. All right, if they ain't following order, man. So then what? We as a, each other's crutch. We gotta work with each other, man. All right, just like with your with your woman, you work with her as much as you can. But if she's going out of line and she's unbearable to even talk to, fuck that bitch. We got time for that when we got other bit other other issues going on. Why they got time to be dealing with no woman emotions and how she feel and what she thinks? Man, it's a war going on outside. Esau is trying to come at brothers, man. He talking about your damn your damn woman. The hell that they fuck that woman. Excuse me, man. I'm gonna try to hold back from the rude words. All right. I'm a little tick. I told you I'm passionate right now. So this is uh, Micah chapter 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until, until he plead my cause. And yes, we all, brothers, we all sinned against the Most High in this life and even in our past life, man. All right. So the Most High got every, he has every right to do whatever he want with us, man. Hopefully the Lord show mercy. All right. So when you got you a woman and she ain't right. Hey, that's the hell the Lord want to send you through, man. May the Lord remove her ass. All right. This is written in the what's that? Ecclesi uh, Ecclesiastes 7. I believe around 24. See King Solomon. All right. You know. Because if you got a wicked woman and the Lord remove her, that shows you that the most high is dealing with you, man. 
All right. So it says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I, and I shall behold his righteousness. All right. So we got to wait upon the Lord till he execute judgment. It says and execute judgment for me. Meaning the Lord is going to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you, man. And that goes toward these fucking women, man. Okay. The woman that you, the woman that was in your life and gave you hell, man. The Lord said, I will recompense tribulation to those that trouble you. When you got to wait and bear this woman's uh, 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 emotions and, and, and uh, demon ways and that she's troubling you, man. You know? When a woman is holding your kids hostage, that's troubling you, man. And execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. All right. Now here the meat right here. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Because what's she going to see? She's going to see the fact that you a man of the Lord and Yahweh Shai has come to deliver you, man. You know, when you, re hey, you be the brother that received the power. Oh, she going to see it, man. She going to regret every bit of trouble she brought upon you. It says, then she, she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me, where is the Lord thou power? Because when these women are out of order and they talking reckless and going off the mouth, being chatter mouth. Speaking these great swelling words against you, calling you out your name, saying this like she served authority over you, like she's your master. She's basically saying, where's your power now, nigga? What you going to do now, nigga? The Lord going to get you, not me. She's basically saying, where's your power? Where's the Lord your power? Because you ain't got no power, nigga. That's how these women act, man. That's what they're saying. When they're serpent authority, man. It says, my eyes shall behold her. Because what you doing when you looking at her? You holding back. You got that. Mm, you bitch. Looking at her. Like you bitch. But it's okay. Hold that anger inside. Channel that energy, man. To the scriptures and the spirit of the Lord, man. It says, now she shall be trodden down as the mire in the streets. Because she going to get dragged through the streets like mud, man. Okay? If you women, you Israelite women that don't got no man of the Lord and no hedge over you, listen, man. You're going to be dragged down and trodden down as the mire in the streets, man. Okay? The Lord is about order. Okay? A woman going to have to get with a man of the Lord in that day. You could get with a man of the Lord now, but it's about you holding on. But in that day, it's going to be for show. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai is coming. He's coming to deliver. So it says, now she did she, excuse me, now shall she, now shall she be trodden down as the mine in the streets and drag that bitch through the mud. Baba Kushai, how about Shimia was shy, man? You know? And uh, I'm going to leave it with that, man. So like you, uh, brothers, just, you know, it is what it is, man. So with that, I want to give all praise to you, how about Shimia was shy. Uh, I just want to uh, read this last last verse. It says, verse 11, Micah 7, 11. And the day that thy walls are to be built, and that day shall the decree be far removed. Because just like it happened in the past, it's going to happen here in the future. All right. There's going to be a great, a great trouble of Jacob's trouble. Ain't going to be no 911. It ain't going to be no protection. And you're going to have to live and survive. And the only way out is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, all judgment is coming. All right. Yahweh's Mashapat. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakhach Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad. May the Lord have mercy on his elect. Shalom.